All right, here we go. Question number 12 from our 1316 homework number one in my lab math. And they want us to find the six trigonometric functions given a point on the unit circle. So what we need to start with to point out is they say sine, cosine, and tangent of t, and the point is negative 1, negative square root of 3 over 2, and we can see that point is at 240 degrees. So if we look at starting at 0, going around this far, that gets us to the ordered pair that was given. So we automatically know that the angle T is 240 degrees, or we could say it's 4 pi over 3 radians. Now that's not what they asked for, but we can see that from the unit circle, okay? So here is what we need to know to answer the questions they ask. In the unit circle, you need to know that sine of theta is y, cosine of theta is x, and tangent of theta is y over x. Those are the first three trigonometric functions we're going to find. And then to find the reciprocal functions, cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of sine. Secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine. And cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent. So those are the formulas for the six trigonometric functions in the unit circle. I do need to specify that this has to be a unit circle ordered pair in order for those formulas to apply, okay? So now let's make a note here. Remember we said that this ordered pair right here, this is the ordered pair we were given. So negative one half, that's going to be the x coordinate. Negative square root of 3 over 2, that is the y coordinate. And so we can go ahead and get the answer for sine of t. Because we know sine is y, the y coordinate is negative square root of 3 over 2. And so we can input that negative fraction square root of 3 over 2. Bam. All right, let's do another one. Cosine. Look what the formula says. Cosine theta is x, and the x coordinate is negative half. So that's negative 1 over 2. And for tangent. Now, tangent is a little bit tricky because it's y over x. And so I'm hopefully going to teach you a little trick for doing tangent, tangent of theta is y over x. Notice that y over x is the same as y divided by x, and we know that we can convert division into multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal. So that could also be written as y times 1 over x, and we know that multiplication is commutative which means order doesn't matter, so I could flip this around and say that tangent of theta could also be expressed as the reciprocal of x times y, okay? So what does that mean as far as math poetry goes, to put this in a poem? To find tangent of theta, you flip the x, keep the y, and then multiply. Flip the x, keep the y, then multiply. So to find our particular ratio, our fraction, we're going to flip the x, which is going to be negative 2 over 1. We're going to keep the y, negative square root of 3 over 2. We're going to flip the x, keep the y, and then multiply. And so we see a negative times a negative makes a positive. 2 over 2 cancels. 
And so tangent of theta, or in this case tangent of t, should be square root of 3 only. Bam. All right. Now, for cosecant, notice that cosecant is the reciprocal of y. And so if we're actually going to find that answer, we're going to take our y coordinate and we're going to flip it over which is going to give us negative 2 over the square root of 3. But that's uh, give us a square root in the denominator, so we need to rationalize that. And the way that you rationalize a denominator is you take the square root piece and you copy and paste to the top, and then you erase the square root in the bottom. Okay, did you catch that? Copy and paste, and then erase. And that's going to give us negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Negative, as a fraction, 2 square root of 3 over 3. Bam. Secant. Secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine or the reciprocal of x. So if we flip the x over, we're going to get negative 2 over 1. But anything divided by 1 is itself. And so that's going to give us negative 2. And cotangent, the last fraction, is the reciprocal of tangent. So we know that tangent of theta from our previous calculation, tangent was square root of 3. As a fraction, that would be square root of 3 over 1. And then if I flip it to get the cotangent, that would be 1 over square root of 3, which gives us a square root in the denominator. So we have to rationalize that. So I get to show you that one more time. Anytime you have a square root in the bottom, you want to take that square root and copy and paste to the top. And then in the bottom, you erase the square root symbol. And so that's going to give us square root of 3 over 3 for our last ratio. Square root of 3 over 3. Bam! Man, I hope all that was helpful. If you need to, go back through and review that again. All the steps there are listed, showing you how to go through and get all of the six trig ratios, provided that your ordered pair is in the unit circle. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.